Hi folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyNexusRoot.com um, So I've got a quick overview uh, of a new ROM here, Xylon uh, ROM here. Uh, this is one of the newer developers out here. Uh, pretty nice ROM. This is based off um, about phone um, Android source sources. Running Android 4.2.1, uh, build number off the 40D. Um, also available for Maguro, which is I have here the GSM version or Toro, uh, the Verizon or Toro Plus Sprint. So um, you can try it for all of them, and uh, uh, it's actually pretty nice. I've actually heard a bunch of good stuff. A lot of people are actually running it on the Nexus 4, um, which I have, by the way. Uh, I've been using it uh, for the last um, couple of days, and I really love it. Um, but then again, you know, with all these custom ROMs, you can pretty much get everything on here. Here, the only difference I see between these two phones um, is that the Nexus 4 uh, has a much faster processor, but uh, really nice. Um, anyway, sorry, kind of get off the topic. Let me show you around the these ROM here. Um, so with the notifications, you know how it's kind of dark. With this ROM, you can kind of invert the stuff there. Um, that's all you can find in. Uh, XY settings, Xi settings. Uh, Xylon settings, you'll be able to um, change everything, kind of like AOKP. This is supposed to be kind of a mix between CM10, AOKP, uh, and the latest Android 4.2.1. So the developers kind of put a lot of thought into it. Um, so you'll find a subtle differences from other ROMs, uh, which I really like. And uh, um, a lot of the ROMs I've, I've noticed are very similar. Um, so these are kind of similar to AOKP. Uh, power menu, kind of boring there. Um, navigation and uh, navigation bar. Um, oh, this is kind of interesting. Um, nav your navigation bar ring. Um, you can customize really cool icons there, up to five. Um, so I've got edited there. That's a little bit different. And also uh, navigation bar widgets. I haven't actually figured out how to use that one. Um, somebody can enlighten me. Clock, you can change that signal. Uh, signals we like. Quick toggles. Oh, this is kind of like something I really like. Enable toggles. Um, all of these toggles you can add. Now, with these toggles, you can choose Holo Light or Holo Dark. That's the difference between the dark and the uh, this simple feature. I kind of like it. Um, and uh, fast toggle. If you don't enable it, it will you know, it'll always be there. There. So that's how you can um, toggle left or right. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, others here. And uh, other than that, performance, you can always overclock this ROM to um, 1.65. On the Galaxy Nexus, I've overclocked it to almost 2 gigahertz, but uh, I haven't really seen any performance improvements. So I'll just stick with 1.2 or 1.35. Um, I mean, you can get it higher, but I don't. I don't see any um, anything improving. Uh, other than that, themes. It actually comes with two themes. Um, I haven't. You know, I'm using this theme, I think, but uh, it should be compatible with CM10 um, themes, also AOKP themes. Uh, advanced here. Oh, oh, that's a new one. Clock speed. Here you can overclock your GPU for playing games. Just your uh, thing. So. Pretty nice ROM overall. Other than that, you do get. Uh, let me show you the camera real quick. Uh, I do like the camera quite a bit. It's got a nice fast camera here. Look at that. And also photosphere. Um, as you can see here, you get the full four dots, just like a Nexus Four. And uh, if you mess up, it will tell you to adjust. Some of the photosphere, um, they don't come with that, but this one does. Totally like a Nexus Four. I like it. Uh, a lot of people have been raving about this ROM. Definitely one of the best ROMs out right now. So check it out for your Galaxy Nexus, GSM, Verizon, or Sprint. And uh, try it out. Let me know what you think. Installation is very easy. Um, if you're coming from another 4.2.1 ROM, you can try installing the ROM over it without doing a factory reset. And also you'll have to install the Google Apps, G Apps. Don't forget, there's two files, the ROM file and the G Apps. If you forget, if you leave a comment, uh, Max, where's my Play Store? Um, you know, someone's gonna 
throw something at you, I think. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to install that. And if you're coming, um, you can do a, if you have problems, just do a factory reset and just do a complete install from the start. Um, you know, also you can use ROM Manager, make it easy. And also for apps, you can use Titanium Backup App to back up all of your apps with data. Um, and also, if you want to save all your home screen stuff, just use a, a Nova Launcher, and then that way you can import all of your stuff here um, to Nova Launcher. Nova Launcher is pretty much like stock, but way better, I think. And uh, that's my preferred launcher. That's what I use um, over everything else. I think it's faster than Apex, you know. Anyway, uh, check it out and let me know what you think. And if you have a Galaxy Nexus, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynexusroot.com. And uh, I'm also starting a new site for the Nexus 4. For those of you who have gotten this, um, I'm starting a new site. And uh, one thing I've noticed is a lot more shinier. The LG makes it. I had a, uh, my first LG phone was an LG Optimus 2X. I still have it, actually. But they've, the LC LCDs are kind of shinier. It doesn't mean it's better, but it feels better <laughs> when you type. Um, but uh, I don't see huge huge differences. Galaxy Nexus is still a great phone. Um, what I think they didn't do enough is like it's got a better, you know. I mean, it looks nearly identical here. Um, I, anyway, got off topic. Anyway, see you guys later. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button up there. And uh, I'll see you guys later. And I've, I've got uh, Nexus 4 review coming next week. So check that out on my main YouTube channel at Zenomex. And stay high on Android. And see y'all later. Yeah.